Google just confirmed mm. it will be using radars on the upcoming Pixel 4 series. Hello mm. Internet, my name is Vic with Phone Arena and we have just seen the biggest leak of the upcoming Pixel 4 smartphones showing one of the phones in real life with the new design, including the big bezel at the top and the square camera on the back. And while the Pixel 4 shapes up to be your typical 2019 flagship in terms of specs with the Snapdragon 855 chip, an upgrade in RAM, a slightly bigger battery and so on, it aims to revolutionize the way you interface with your phone with gestures. Built right in that top bezel is the Project Soli Radar. Soli is the name of the chip and as Google describes it, it is a new sensing technology that uses miniature radar to detect touchless gesture interactions. Now Google's successful miniaturization of the technology fits in a solid chip that is as small as a pinky nail, yet it works on the same principle as the big flight radars on airplanes. This was precisely why the FCC didn't let the Soli chip fly until December 31st of 2018 when it granted Google a waiver from some of its requirements for radars in the commercial 57 to 64 gigahertz frequency bands. After receiving that important clearance, Google could finally implement the radar and software in a phone that can track submillimeter motion at high speeds with great accuracy. That's a quote. The Soli chip does it by pushing out electromagnetic waves in a broad sweep that get reflected back to the tiny antenna inside. A combination of sensors and software algorithms then accounts for the energy these reflected beams carry, the time they needed to come back and how they changed on the way. Now, With this being able to determine the object's characteristics and dynamics, including its size, shape, orientation, material, distance and even velocity. And if this sounds terribly complex, it is because it kind of is. Put simply, this radar is able to capture much much more data about gestures and movements than a typical 3D camera can, and it is far more precise. What this precision allows is a brand new kind of gesture navigation that doesn't even require you touching a screen. And because Soli is a radar, it works both during the day and at night. Now apart from that, we also know that the two Pixel 4 phones will both get 90Hz displays with that same high refresh rate that we saw on the OnePlus 7 Pro and that we thought made a big impact in terms of smoother and faster performance. Hugely appreciated. Unfortunately, there are also a few disappointments in the leaks for the Pixel 4. The Pixel 4 XL is set to get a 3700mAh battery, bigger than before but still much smaller than the battery on phones like the Huawei P30 Pro or Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. The other shortcoming is in the storage department. First, just like on previous Pixel phones, you will not have support for microSD cards, but that's kind of expected. The letdown is the amount of onboard storage, said to remain at just 64GB for the base version of the Pixel 4, way less than most flagships these days. On the back of the phone you see the new square camera that bulges out slightly and looks much more capable just based on size. In addition to the excellent main camera, here you will get a secondary 2x zoom telephoto lens that will come in handy for portrait shots and you will also get a time of flight depth sensor on board. We also expect a version 2.0 of the excellent night sight mode that captures incredible pictures at night. And of course the Pixel 4 will arrive with the latest Android 10 version and the promise for 3 years of timely software updates, something that you never get on any other Android phones. The series is expected to get officially unveiled in early October and the actual release should happen a week or so after the announcement. This year Google does indeed bring a lot to the new Pixels, but let's see if radars and gestures are what will finally help it break through the strong competition. Mm.